from the Bull and Bear in New York's legendary Waldorf Astoria Hotel, this is Happy Hour. Can you believe that? People camping out, waiting for stores to open at 4 and 5 a.m. Hey, I give you guys credit if you are amongst those out there. But what happened to all the predictions that the consumer is tapped out? So now you're in debt even more if you out, were out there shopping. And you probably will start doing some shopping, if not today. Uh, joining me now to figure out how in the heck to get out of debt, or should you even get yourself in debt, personal finance guru, Neil Godfrey. How are you, Neil? Great to be here. So were you out at 4 or 5 a.m.? No, I was not here. out, but I was thinking about all those people that were. What is that about? I mean, I, you know, we were, Cody and I were trying to figure out the logic of that, and we're thinking that, you know, they, they really want to get the good deals. We're so accustomed that you don't want to pay full price for anything, but are people really getting good deals, I, I would imagine, as long as they don't overspend? They really are getting good deals in terms of the fact that if you decide you're going to get a certain item, there were sales that were from 4 a.m. to 1 p.m. I mean, you literally have to get there and do right. it. And they're acculturating the shopper to get there. However, what we do is we overspend when we're there. <laughs> so you win on one side and you lose on another. Right. And it's pretty amazing. Guess who spends more, men or women? I would say, well, uh, women do Go overall, with me. but men probably p buy the more high-priced items. Yes, but men actually spend more. They, they buy the, do. Yeah, they do. They spend, and today they're going to spend, allegedly, 420 to every 300 we are, because they're buying Man, gadgets. Man, I, I must just know the cheap-ass ones then. Gee, no. You're, you're with the wrong ones. <laughs> Stick with me, babe. No. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, I didn't know I that. Know. Uh, the other thing we want to talk about, because you specialize in, in, in kids, kids and uh, family, kids, family finance. Yeah. Finance as well. Um, some of the information that you sent me, the background is that 50% of the people out there shopping are 18 to 24 year olds. Yes. How amazing is that? And 70% of them have credit cards. Now, they're, are they getting the credit cards in their own names or these are the parents' credit cards? Well, actually, they're getting them in their own names. However, when we look at the debt that they're graduating with, and we're talking about these kids graduate from college with an average of $3,000 with a debt. Wrong statistic. <coughs> it does not count the credit cards that you, me, mom, dad hand these kids kids the debt is way higher than that right and if they pay the minimum on those credit cards it will take them about 15 years to get out of debt all right so this is the start of people getting in debt into I trouble mean, what is your best advice for them I mean right now they're watching they're gonna go out shopping start Christmas Hanukkah shopping best advice for them step away from the credit cards really number one walk in with a plan you know that did you ever send a man into the grocery store to buy you something it, you have yeah. to have a list hello a, a list follow it, it and check it yeah. off and don't do anything same thing with holiday shopping number two gift card do not credit card with these kids when you're giving them money and the soft touch by the way you know who gives them the most money mom uh, or dad mom yeah yeah we're, yeah, suckers. we're suckers yeah okay fine do not hand your credit card to the kids and if per chance these kids get credit cards talk to them about the fact that they need to get the scissors out and start cutting them up uh, Dave Ramsey would love you for that one. <laughs> He's always telling people to cut the credit cards. Although, I tell you, I do shop with the credit card because I want to get the mileage, the points from the American Express, but then I pay it off at the end of the month. As long so. as you pay it off. Yeah. There's another trick to do, too. Speaking of Antarctica, yeah. take the credit card, freeze it. When you freeze it in a block of ice, yeah. you the only way you can defrost it is with a microwave, and it'll ruin the mag strip. Let it <laughs> Gosh, sit there. Gosh, she's extreme, right? Let it wow. sit there and melt. Hey, the other thing you can do with your credit card, guys, just give it to us. We'll take care of them. Don't worry. They'll <laughs> we be will so hands. Without it. canceling it first, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you. The markets are always looking ahead, trying to...